Hey, welcome to um, Just Calvin. Uh, obviously, I'm your host, uh, Just Calvin. Now, um, I wanted to show you a few things uh, that you may, you may find interesting. Oops, not bad. <laughs> Go back to this. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, all I hear is about the stupid debt ceiling. Debt this, debt that. How Americans owe like 20 something trillion dollars in debt. Um, I want to look that up and see what that really is. See how much the war, I mean, just war in Afghanistan has cost. Uh, how much corporations uh, actually owe in taxes or not tax, excuse me, in debt, even though they get all kinds of loopholes and get all kinds of um, tax incentives. So I was looking, uh, I was looking this up and uh, as you can see, I, I saved it. But anyway, um, uh, so where's that? Company, uh, U.S. companies owe more than 10 trillion, which is nearly half of the country's two, 2019 GDP of 21.5 trillion. That's 10 trillion dollars. Uh, and I'm sorry, with tax loopholes, how do you owe money in debt? I don't see how that's possible if, unless you are one of the, what, what, something that's called a zombie corporation, which means you just have just enough to stay open, but not enough to make a profit. Or you're in bankruptcy and just like Trump in a lot, in a lot of ways, um, uh, you have to pay your outside debt in order to be able to get that off your, uh, off your, uh, uh, credit, I guess, a business credit or have a corporate credit. My first thought in regards to this is okay, so ten trillion dollars in debt in corporate debt. Does that mean that these are like um, these are places that they had to uh, like sell corporate bonds to uh, to the Fed? Because I understand that the Fed has been buying like one hundred sixty billion dollars in uh, in. As corporate assets uh, over the past what year and a half, two years, uh, which essentially is what is known as uh, quantitative easing. Uh, to a certain degree, they have also been putting in money into uh, big corporate, big banks uh, to uh, help with loans and such. Uh, even though I believe that when they first started doing these um, bank tests, you know, make sure that that these banks are putting uh, set, setting aside enough reserves to be able to make sure they have the money for overnight interest rates as well as like uh over like loans and other things of that nature uh home loans and whatnot um and to make sure that they had, that they're able to pay back as i said the over the overnight interest well the corporate the the corporate debt is basically what uh the the fed is being paid in in regards to the overnight interest rates I mean, out of the way, the the Fed and the government overall is actually making money through this. It's because of the fact that um, this is part. I mean, you can look this up yourself, other than what other than what you see on the show. But I mean, it seems to me like since the Fed is a government entity, and the Fed uh, puts money in the banking system. And the and the Fed is uh, is there to help other countries and other things monetarily. That is, uh, it just seems to me that uh, either way, the Fed and the government both um, have plenty of money to do what the fuck they need to do in regards to what people actually need in this fucking country. That's why I again I always say and I have been saying for I don't know how long that we need third parties and that we need. Um, and we need the, the, the corporations to prove, do their own version of a workforce or not where the workforce. No, um, I forgot. I keep thinking what the Republicans call it, but uh, it's basically where you prove that uh, you deserve the benefits. Uh, you volunteer, whatever. In their case, they have to prove that they have hired more uh, using those those uh, tax uh, uh, tax incentives. Uh, they have to prove that they have hired more with those tax incentive that cash flow than they have as far as laying people off, as far as um, them uh, uh, doing their own, you know, buying back their own stock, which in, which inflating 
their own stock prices, which eventually I mean the market can't correct itself all the time. Sometimes it goes down hard because other things happen, uh, whether it be internationally or domestically. But anyway, let's see. And I think this is the no, this is a different one. Uh, this might be it. And in case people are wondering how much the war has has uh, cost, is two trillion dollars as of twenty twenty. But uh, the estimated cost would have been by twenty fifty six point five trillion. So you're looking at at least what sixteen seventeen trillion dollars in like what would you call debt. Um, is basically money that was spent in the economy without being taxed out. Uh, so that means that a lot of this is actually none of it is population debt. You know, people that have spent or overly spent on different things. Uh, that kind of debt actually gives the corporations money uh, in order to sustain themselves. So in actuality, consumerism is actually, keep, is actually keeping them alive. They're overspending on their own self in regards to them giving themselves raises. Same thing with the Senate, uh, the Senate and uh, uh, the House and Senate. They both have given themselves sometimes undue uh, pay increases. I know that uh, since 2000, uh, the Senate themselves have voted to give themselves i'm not making sure how much how much uh increase uh to themselves uh, uh, without earning it really because I, I don't know how many laws substantial laws that have benefited the, cit the citizens of the country that have actually passed through the senate or the house i understand that a lot have actually passed through the house but it has to be uh, it has to go through the senate in order to be able to become law a lot of times in recent times there's been a couple of times where you have the house pass laws that goes to the Senate. The Senate passed the law that goes back to the House, and then after the Senate, uh, I guess it, I guess both chambers have to like renegotiate certain laws in order to reconciliation, if you will. Anyway, so that's why I wanted to bring up that part. Like when people when when they talk about debt, especially now, the only way that we won't default on anything it has nothing to do with consumer prices. It has nothing to do with uh, with people being thrown out of their homes, which is very much un unfortunate. Uh, it has everything to do with uh, how much of, an of a decrease in taxes that big corporations would more likely do because they're actually, they, that debt is keeping us away from other, other things, or at the very least, it's more of a talking point that, than, than the Republicans are, are not are using against us in regards to the, the population here. Uh, when the reality is actually reversed, it's actually corporate the corporation and the spending awards that we didn't fucking need in the first place. Uh, that is what is the debt uh, overall uh, in this country. And it's been like that since 08, uh, ever since Obama, Bush, and all them. If, if they were to do a, uh, a program with the rich, that forces them to come up with the, the, the ways that money has gone to benefit the, the, the states instead of uh, that has nothing to do with making products in other countries and making products here in the United States that we have to pay for in the market. Uh, if they can prove that those um, tax write-offs, tax loopholes, whatever have you, when to hiring more people to add more taxes or add more uh, productivity within this country, then I said, then I would say, okay, fine, you prove your point right on. But if you can't, then your loophole goes away. And that way, the it won't put money back in the system. It will allow the Fed to write off a lot of that, and the national debt, quote unquote, would go down. It would do nothing in regards to actual money back into the system because that money is already in the system. It has been taxed out of the system. Anyway, that's my little rant. And by the way, uh, if you haven't yet, and if you happen to see the, I don't know where it went. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is uh, in the two party system dot org. Uh, they have all kinds of material on here that is very likable to those 
like myself and maybe you uh, who don't who want more than a two party dictatorship who want to be able to bring in more parties uh, in regards to like actual parties that are not interconnected with other fucking parties like DSA and SA. Yes, I will never, ever, ever not mention the fact you should not be a part of the SA or the DSA if you do not want the same party, two party system, because they both, though, both of those parties are involved in the same system, uh, in the same party overall. They're, they're the Tea Party, as I like to call them, the Tea Party of the Democrats. And they claim they, they talk a good game, but a lot of times they do the same damn thing. So I have to ask you, as someone who hopefully votes, if you do vote, double check and make sure that maybe you don't want to vote for two parties. Maybe you, excuse me, maybe you want to help bring a third party up with your signature and address, whatever else that is required for ballot access to every party. We should have every party that is a registered party. Libertarian, uh, Libertarian Socialist, whatever have you. Uh, hell, even give DSA a ballot. A, a, a ballot. Uh, SA already and Social Alternative already have one. Give more, to, give more of one to a Social Equality Party, Communist Party, you name it. If they're if they are registered party that that the government uh, uh, the government looks at them as a, an actual political party and not as a political movement or a political organization they should be on the ballot they should have they should be they should be represented as far as their voter base um uh ranked choice voting which will allow people to actually be able to vote for those and open primaries which will allow those uh parties to participate in the electoral process but that if you if you um, if you go to and the two party system uh, and two uh, and the two party system dot org here, then read all this. As I said, range choice voting, open presidential debates, and campaign finance reform, and the two party system. They also have merch. That's right there. Back down. Let's see. There we go. Now this you can see um, on as a backdrop on my stuff. That's as you see, sixty nine, about seventy bucks, pretty much. Then you have beach towel. If you, well, I'll take a shower and all that. I've used that. Uh, face mask. You have a hoodies. Let's see what else. You have stickers that would look great on your keyboard or whatever. Uh, magnets. Uh, pin buttons. Uh, Pom pom beanies. I almost misread that at one time. Uh, so you also have railroad lines. Interesting. No books. Okay. Uh, sweatshirt, t shirts, uh, phone cases, you name it. Or yeah, phone cases. You name it. They have it basically in regards to merchandise and a great price. So look them up as far as the park goes. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yes. And I have some shit that I do. Once I get there, we go. Let's see. Yeah, let's go just a, a little bit of what I do if this plays the way I want it to be. Huh. Interesting. I thought that was okay. Anyway, <laughs> my bad. Uh, apparently some have with that recording. Oh, well, it was dress work as far as the park goes. I want to double check on that. Uh, let's see, and this is also my YouTube channel. Once again, once it goes, it loads up. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. There we go.
wow, like almost nothing is working. That's yeah, so strange. Yeah, anyway. Anywho, uh, she's very, oh, yes. And I wanted to remind you a little bit of something here. This is the open, uh, as you can see, this is where you'll actually get the raw data from the CDC. Uh, see, we have unfortunate people who passed away. Uh, we have apparently, according to this, uh, Jan Jansen, which is Johnson Johnson, as far as I'm concerned, uh, 987 people have died from that. Uh, 3,687 died from uh, from Moderna, and one 1,211 have died from Pfizer. Um, let's see. And the age that they typically pass away at is 37 to 28. Um, you also have 66 to 80, uh, 32, 47, and so on and so forth. Uh, and the unknown, I'm getting, I'm guessing, would be like things that are not related to the to the uh, to the vaccines. Uh, I guess 91 uh, for 0 to 24, which I'm, I'm going to guess that they had uh, underlying conditions for that. I mean, it's the same thing regardless of everybody else's pathway, regardless of that. Anyway, so let's see. Wow, okay, my computer is up. Okay. Now, uh, evidently, Chef Pelosi uh, want to limit um, the powers of, of the president. I mean, they looked at what happened with Trump, and he did, he tried to do a lot of shit, uh, which I think would be a good thing because that because I mean, really, the the president is pretty much a figurehead, and the Senate and House are the legislative body, so they should actually be the one to uh, make up the make up the rules and laws and all that stuff. Um, I, I don't really see we I don't see why we need a president actually come to think of it because they're they're well let's see I mean maybe I'm wrong about that I'll look more into that but it just seems like the president is just the bigger head of the of the country and I'm like okay we have the house we have the senate what would we really need with a figurehead for they're all their own figureheads we're all a lot of them are jackasses, but that's the other point. Um, anyway, I think limiting the, the 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 power of the president, I think that's a good idea because you don't want a dictator and a dictator of well, someone a president who has as unlimited power as you can have it is basically a dictator. Depending, I think, depending on uh what the ruling is if it's uh beneficial for the people then it's still I me mean, it's still a dictatorship because it's just one person one rule sort of thing it's kind of like how the two-party system have a dictatorship over that uh which is the reason why i think we should have one more way more than two parties basically one party uh total let's see and i think this was yeah and this was from that from that well no this is the day actually it was weird uh apparently uh the vaccine rollouts in uh, asia and, and asia um let's see due to the developing situation in china and asia concerning the coronavirus uh they are operating this article as a running live uh, okay okay so this has been reported uh 124 new cases yeah okay so i brought that i put this up I, I think i was going to actually do uh one another show about coronavirus period uh and i think i kind of got lost in what i was doing there so my bad anyway so let's see Brun, uh Brene has joined the global covax scheme and is expecting to have covid 19 vaccine in quarter one of 2021 uh which is uh, anyway uh has sourced enough wait is this so weird that okay so yeah it's september and so today anyway that's okay so come uh they've recorded uh 24 214 new cases which and two deaths which 
if you think about it, it's not bad. Uh, as bad as they passed away, but uh, as far as the actual um, news is not bad considering. Uh, they also saw 90 new cases on September 19th, uh, t- taking the toll to 5,047 cases and 26 deaths. In Cambodia, you have, it looks like, wait a minute, 628 new cases, 70 deaths on, on today. I'm bringing that total to 105,344 cases and 2140 deaths. I mean, it looks like the deaths are going down. And I mean, if you look, if you look at the underlying causes of a lot of these, is what they already had. This just exacerbated it. Um, I saw. I think I know. I think I mentioned this uh, yesterday that I saw on, uh, in Seattle. Someone who got vaccinated uh, but passed away, I think, it, uh, of a like a heart failure or some type of effect. Um, and I guess uh, in that same story, his daughter, I think, uh, this guy's daughter was waiting to get vaccinated. And I still think I'm I'm still thinking, have you got vaccinated and like full on or whatever? And there are breakthrough cases. And that just tells me that it numbs the symptoms to you but it doesn't it doesn't keep you from spreading it uh so i'm, I'm sorry I, I just don't see the point of getting it in the first place if, if that if that happens um i've repeatedly said i myself am not vaccinated uh basically because every time every time i've gotten vaccinated i've gotten sick afterwards anyway uh I think a vaccine is supposed to prevent you from from getting whatever's coming up. Uh, but when the vaccines, the normal vaccines, flu vaccines are made uh, the year before's uh, flu, it's not going to help you. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, and so far, I've been pretty good as far as the part goes. Uh, I think I, I had to get a tetanus shot because of uh, surgery that I went through a couple of years ago. But that was pretty much it. Um, Everything else I'm good on, and I, I myself, I go to hospital maybe twice every other year, and that's for some something small, nothing major. Um, anyway, but all this is about me as far as the bar goes, and then I'm just I think I'm just trying to tell you that in my experience, vaccines have not worked, they have not made sense to me overall. Uh, same with this like, why would you want to get a shot for something you don't have yet? That makes no sense to me because it seems like natural immunity which a lot of people do have the only the only population that that may have weighed down are the elderly and the people with underlying conditions which their underlying conditions because their body can't fight them off uh overall that's why they take medication for certain things and this is my opinion i'm not a doctor i'm never going to be a doctor I'm never going to be a scientist of any kind. I'm I'm going by what I'm my my own little sense of how uh, I've gone through uh, these things uh, in regards to vaccines and if they've worked for me or not. Um, in my case, they have not. Um, and so, for those who have underlying conditions, I don't know what to say as far as the part goes because a lot of if you look at the CDC and their underlying con- and their underlying conditions and cautious and all that stuff. It's everything everybody ever fucking had. It's everybody everybody has ever fucking will will probably ever have as you get older. So it's it's not like it's uh, one particular thing. Uh, it's not like it's one particular age in regards to that. It's first and foremost if you have uh, these these uh, health uh, issues, the likelihood of you getting it is is higher. Because it affects your immune system, it seems to me. It affects your T cell count and all that stuff. Because, yeah, it's concentrating on one thing. It's used to concentrating on one thing. Spike protein, as far as I know about, as far as I've seen, heard, read, never those between, this thing is supposed to tell your body to produce more of the of the uh, the cells that help your immune system fight off infections. But if your but if your immune system itself, I don't think uh, if your immune system itself doesn't have enough strength to fight off the current 
stuff, then I guess it's supposed to like help regenerate or revigorate or however you want to call it. And a lot of these people is not doing that. Uh, that's why. And and you're still getting sick. I don't I don't get the point of getting a vaccine if you're still going to get sick either way. That's why natural immunity. I think a lot of, and a, and a lot of um. And a lot of these uh, um, research that I've done or I have seen has worked better than the vaccine. So I mean, do your own do your, do your own research. Don't just listen to the talking heads because they they get paid to talk. They get they don't get paid to be right. That's the first first and foremost thing you have to remember. That's financially, medically, and everything else in between. You have to do your own research. Go by your own gut and go by your own personal position. Um, because they know you, you know you. These people don't know you. Uh, just like the people who are financial don't know your financial situation. They're there to sell you on shit. The same thing with a lot of these talking, same thing with a lot of these um, uh, TV doctors. They're there to maybe entertain, but a lot of it is to like sell you on shit. Either they sell or others they know sell. Kind of like what I'm doing with the Tea Party system, with uh, the ntparysystem.org except they actually have quality product and actually have a cause to fight for. Anyways, um, now be, be, that's about it for me. I guess, there we go. I'm hoping that this was 30 minutes or less so I could put it on my other, uh, my other platforms. Either way, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I hope if I pissed you off, so be it. But I'm, I'm talking from my own heart and talking from my own, my own opinion. And showed you where I get my information from every time I do one of these things. So it's not like I'm hiding anything from you. Um, anyway, think twice about getting the vaccine. Um, get an antibody test first. If you have enough of an immune system, I wouldn't worry about it. Your immune system would will uh, help take care of it. That's my opinion. Again, just my opinion. Um, Anyways, thanks for watching, listening. Subscribe if you like. Uh, keep your comments if you do comment. Uh, somewhat civil, and I'll uh, get back to you uh, at a later date, maybe tomorrow. Thanks for watching and listening, and peace out for now.